All right, guys, we are here where they make Corvettes. Let's see what kind of die cast they have at the Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky. So I was in town for business and called ahead. They said they had plenty of die cast. They even said they had 164 scale, which got me encouraged that they knew what they were talking about. Walked right in and saw this three pack and thought that was kind of cool. Look at these concept cars. You don't see those all the time in die cast. 695 for a three pack. And I thought, well, these are licensed vehicles and that's not a bad price. A good start. Pretty encouraged as I got started. Um, didn't have a whole lot of interest for these little pullbacks. Nevertheless, I thought I would just show everybody what they do have. If you are in the area, this is one of the coolest tours you can ever go on. I didn't go on it today. I've been on it before. This is where they make the Corvettes, and you can see your own Corvette made right in front of you. Here's some pretty generic 136 scale stuff by Kinsmart. You can find that at almost any pharmacy or convenience store in the United States. Motormax makes this 124 scale kit. That's a metal body. That's pretty cool. Even had some high-end Lego sets. So you get a Stingray with that one. A lot of C8s, obviously. A pretty hot car right now. And this one, uh, this Motormax C8 was only 20 bucks. Really was impressed with the low prices available at the store. Selection, maybe not what I had hoped. Here's another pace car. And it seemed like they were geared mainly toward the bigger size scale. So if you're a 164 collector, which is primarily what I am, or historically what I've been, um, you won't find a whole lot. You did see, you will see a couple brands. We're gonna walk past a few here. Here's more of the, well, let's give credit where credit is due. They did have some Hot Wheels. The 52nd anniversary, maybe? Is that what that is? The Satin and Chrome? And then you've got that same company that made that other three pack with a 10 piece set here. And it's mainly like a kid's backpack with some diorama stuff, 27 bucks if you're interested. The last bit of 164 die cast that I found was RMZ City. Pretty cool to see those here in the United States. We find those not as frequent as you guys do in Europe and Asia. And I wasn't completely unimpressed that they had these. They're pretty cool little models. You've got a pretty small range of models that they had, but they had decent paint, good wheels. I grabbed a couple. We'll take a look at what I got at the end of this video. So hang around after the tour here. A lot of the same models, just in different colors and, and liveries. As we make our way out the door, take a look at all these awesome C8s that they were bringing in. I think they were getting them out of the way of the bad weather that was rolling in. Beautiful blue C8. And if you are unfamiliar with this place, I've got a map here coming up that shows you it's pretty convenient. A lot of people use Interstate 65 in the south to get to the beach. And you can see in between Indianapolis and Nashville on your way to the beach, specifically between Louisville and Nashville is the shop. So, Admittedly, there's not a lot that I got at the Corvette Museum, but we will take a look at it um, just because it is kind of, <clears throat> you know, stuff that you wouldn't find just everywhere. Um, I'm going to set up this little postcard. I did like this. Um, so the first thing I got that you guys will have noticed was... A couple of the RMZ City cars. If you don't know this brand, let me zoom in just a little bit here. If you don't know this brand, they are a pretty 
well-known brand in Europe and other parts of the world, just not here in the States, RMZ City, you see right there. I believe these are the cars that Herpa, the German die cast maker, uses for their 164 models. This is a, uh, looks like a race. Is that, what's that say there? C8R, it's not a C8, maybe C6R, yeah. <clears throat> so here's a racing version. It does have pretty decent wheels. They're plastic, they look to be metal, but they're, no, let's see. Yeah, those are definitely plastic. They look to be rubber, but they're not. They've got tread. Um, painted lamps, there's your badge. Pretty good interior on these. And not too bad, very basic mainline vehicles uh, from RMZ City brand. The only other one I got was this C7, and maybe these are, yeah, look. I stand corrected, guys. I think these are actually rubber wheels, unless that is a crazy plastic defect, and it's not. These are rubber wheels. I'll go back and I'll fix that. I won't spend a whole lot of time doing it, but it's not the worst Corvette in 164 diecast. Um, yeah, okay. Not, not terribly disappointed in those. I kind of knew what I was getting there as far as that goes. Um, the only other thing I got, and you saw it in the video, was the six pack of like, what do they call these? Concept cars. So here was that three pack, not six pack, three pack of Cor Corvette concept cars. Man, I am all over the map here. These are 164 scale. They are from a company called Wow's Toys. These are, I'm not gonna open them. I'm gonna send these to Chris at Diecast Dungeon. He's the biggest Corvette guy I know. And he might keep these unopened just because they came from the Corvette Museum. They're not the best die cast. That's very clear when you look at these. Here is a little bit of general information. These are licensed vehicles, which is cool. And the fact that it came from Bowling Green, where they make the Corvettes, is pretty, pretty cool. So that'd be something a really Corvette guy probably would like to have in his collection. We shall see. I'm going to send it to Chris. We've got a Indy Pace car. We've got a Stingray 3. We've got a Mako Shark. We'll look at them as much as we can inside the package here. You've got some crazy exhaust coming out the side on this Mako. And there's your view from above. This is kind of a um, predecessor, maybe, 61 to the split window Stingray. You've got a double flag badge on the trunk back there. So this is a convertible. Then coming down, we've got a Stingray 3. And I believe Matchbox did this version as well. They even did them in some of their premium stuff. No front or, well, no rear lamp detail work. You get some front, just some paint across the hood here. And then you've got the IndyCar, which I can't remember what that one was called. Maybe the AeroVet, maybe. I'm probably wrong. But that's all I got from Bowling Green when I went to the Corvette Museum. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video and a look at some maybe not too common Corvette diecast models. This is David at Twice Diecast. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Okay guys, don't forget, use the link to this video here to register for the drawing on September the 25th. We're gonna do a drawing for some fantastic diecast prizes. Good luck to everybody. Hope you have a great day.